The Secretary General came to the Royal Institute for International Affairs to talk about his eight years in office. It started with a coup in Fiji, flawed elections in Zimbabwe, the corruption of elections in Nigeria, which the courts have dealt with, and a civil war in Sierra Leone. But despite the failure of democracy, he was leaving the organization with a glass more than half full. So how do we respond when people question the Commonwealth democracy, the fact that Fiji's been suspended not once but uh, three times in the last 20 years, democracy has seen Pakistan suspended not once but twice, and that democracy struggles as it faces up to real ethnic tension, whether we see it in the Solomon Islands or more recently in Kenya. Or the democracy that sees Bangladesh now without an elected government for more than a year and where we're still waiting for an announcement of elections. But I still revert to uh, Abraham Lincoln's comment that democracy must be of the people, by the people, for the people. Simple as that. It is a vision. It's beyond elections. And it's not talking about some of the people. It is a question of all of the people. So it's of the people, by the people, for the people, but all of the people. And many just do not meet that particular definition. So the Commonwealth is progressing towards that vision, even in the most difficult places. And amongst those countries which I mentioned, which are in the headlines, I mean, Fiji is doing its best to work towards elections in the first quarter of next year, and we are working alongside them right now. Pakistan has made... Many strides, many strides I, have, I can see to President Musharraf bringing more females into parliament, bringing more minorities into parliament, and certainly strengthening local government. One hopes that the good things that President Musharraf did do will be sustained. Whilst the Commonwealth Secretariat is a small organisation in global terms, its country membership represents some two billion citizens. People must feel that their life is improved with democracy and with development. And if it's not, they will tell you very loudly, and that's where you've got to look very candidly at what you're doing. Lives do need improving everywhere. And this is the tough side for us. Three quarters of a billion Commonwealth citizens, three quarters of a billion Commonwealth citizens are in the $1 a day category. 30 million of the Commonwealth's children have never seen the inside of a school. And a further 40 million have certainly never taken the step into a secondary school. So what should the Commonwealth do as it seeks to make a difference in the future and help benefit all those it represents? The important thing is that the organisation remains flexible enough to deal with the things that come up very instantly and you really have to deal with very immediately. But underneath all that, the day-to-day -day work must still go on, building capacity, giving people confidence that the projects we are running all over the Commonwealth do benefit people, and people can feel that benefit.